So let's say you're using traditional frame and panel construction to make a desk. So you have your frame, and as you can see, you already have your grooves in both the styles that you cut when the styles were free, when they were not in frame. But the problem now is you have to have a groove going up the side of the leg. But you can't use your traditional combination plane because you don't want the groove to extend here. And with these combination planes, the runners are long and they need space to run into as the groove gets lower and lower. So in other words, before we cut our groove, we need to make a space for the front part of the runner, uh, depending on how long that is. If you have a longer combination plane, that's going to be longer. Mine is pretty short, so I only need about seven centimeters. So the end product is going to look like this, where we have a groove running all the way down, but it stops. So a stopped groove or a stopped dado. So I take the leg that I want to cut the groove on, and with this uh, particular piece of furniture that I'm making right now, I decided to put uh, tenons, open tenons on the top, like this. Um, so this allows me to use my combination plane and cut straight down till I get to that other mortise. But like I said earlier, I still need room for the um, front ski of the combination plane to be able to move so that I can actually cut down to the depth that I want to. So I know this is about seven or eight centimeters. So what I'm going to do is, and luckily my the mortises are going to be in line with your groove, so that helps a little bit. So I want to take my ruler and measure seven centimeters from the bottom of the mortise, and that ends about here. I'm just going to put a line right about there. Now I take my combination plane. And I already have installed the two spurs, which are going to cut lines on either side of the dado that I want to make. And I hold it at the bottom or C, and I draw it back so that I can cut those lines. I want to be able to see where that mortise, I'm sorry, where that groove, the dado, is going to be. So I have my dado lines all scribed there, and I have my pencil line, which marks the length of the end of the ski. Now I'm going to take a Japanese uh, knife gauge like this, it has two knives. I'm going to set it to the width of those lines that I just scribed with the combination plane. And this is all just to make it deeper. I'm going to take that and I'm going to draw back again so I can really cut down into this part down here. Then I'm going to take a chisel, which is the same width as the dado that I want to make, and I'm just going to cut right in. And take that part off. Go up to the pencil line. This dado is not going to be that deep, so I don't have to go that deep with this groove. All I need is enough to be able to get the leading edge of that ski to be able to come flush with the bottom of the dado. And that should be pretty good. Then, I just take the combination plane. Oh, actually, before that, one thing you want to make sure is that you don't go past the opening part of that mortise because you get a, a little ridge where the front ski will dig in. So we'll take a block of wood and we'll clamp this down right at the bottom of the mortise. Because I don't want that ski to go past the bottom part of the mortise and scratch up a part of the leg that you're actually going to be able to see. So with that on there, that's going to be a stopper. Now I take the combination plane, which is already set, and now I can just cut that groove.
and we have our groove. And if this part of the groove or the dado is a little bit too shallow, then you just go back in with your chisel. And as you can see, now I have a groove, a dado for my panel that runs all the way around. Thanks for watching.